Welcome to The Drive Podcast. I'm your host, Peter Atia. If you like this video, please let me know by subscribing to the channel or visiting my website to become a member for more exclusive content. So let's talk a little bit about checkpoint inhibitors. We, they've come up now a couple of times in this discussion. Um, you've mentioned uh, anti-CTLA-4 and anti-PD-1. Uh, certainly my time at the NCI, my, my second stint, I got me, got me very familiar with anti-CTLA-4 and uh, it was an exciting time. Um, and of course, James Allison would go on to receive the Nobel Prize a couple of years ago for his work in the discovery of this. Um, maybe go back and explain how that system works, how, how the removal of breaks works. Um, and, and, and of course, as, as part of the undercurrent of this, it only works if there's a tumor antigen to be recognized. In other words, taking the breaks off when there's no stimuli doesn't do anything. But how, how does that system work and how is it a two-edged sword? So, Again, there are stimulants and there are inhibitors of virtually every physiologic system that we have. And one of the inhibitors are molecules on the cell surface, on the surface of a, of a lymphocyte, that when engaged by a receptor, will inhibit a lymphocyte from developing an immune reaction. And surprisingly, there are two molecules that have been found on the cell surface, now many more, that when targeted by an antibody, will not kill the cell, but actually turn off the breaks that are keeping that cell's activity from exhibiting itself. So it's releasing the breaks, and it turns out to have a very important function in the body because there are some cells that can react against normal tissues that do not react because they're being inhibited by these breaks. And when you release those breaks, now the T cell can be very active. And it turns out that cancer has manipulated those. Uh, and by taking the breaks off, you can attack certain cancers and explains why melanoma is one of the more common cancers to be attacked because it has so many antigens, so many, uh, so many mutations. And it was a startling discovery that simply attacking a molecule, a single molecule on the cell surface could take the breaks off a lymphocyte and let it attack cancer. And when it comes to melanoma, kidney cancer, cancers that have large numbers of mutations because they have uh, mismatched repair gene uh, mutations, Lynch syndrome, the, uh, uh, the MSI, the microsatellite unstable tumors, they can very strongly react against cancer, but the common epithelial cancers that result in 90% of deaths in patients have very little reactivity against the checkpoint modulator. So although they can be life-saving and very likely, although it's been too soon, curable for some cancer patients, the overwhelming majority of cancer patients just do not respond to taking off the brakes because when you take off the brakes, there's not a strong enough reaction to take, uh, to take advantage of. But hopefully combinations of treatments using checkpoint modulators will be more effective in the future. But it was a major, uh, a major step forward. And the beauty of it, easy to apply because all it required was the injection of an antibody. Thank you.